If you're going to a beach in Mumbai, you cannot leave without eating chana chowar garam. Today I'm going to show you how to make it at home in a very simple way. Let's see how to make chana chowar garam. To make chana chowar garam, you need to use brown chanas. They look something like this. I'm going to boil them in some hot water for 4 to 5 minutes. Basically what we are doing is blanching these brown chanas. so that the skin can rupture a little and the insides can become a little moist add about 1 tablespoon of salt to the water this will ensure that the chana is seasoned from within we're going to boil this for 4 to 5 minutes on high flame as you can see the skin has tightened and the chana looks plumped up this is where you will switch off the flame Now we are going to strain it out. I have a glass bowl over here which is lined with a thick cloth. I'm just going to strain out the black chana and add it in. As soon as you take them out, close the cloth. So the cloth is basically going to retain the moisture and warmth in the chana. Now you have to keep it in a dark place where it can retain that warmth at least for an hour or two. So I'm going to keep it in the microwave because my microwave is not going to be used anymore. You can also keep it in a cupboard or a drawer which will keep it enclosed. So I did the same thing with these chanas last night. As you can see they look exactly how they started. But if you smash them, they turn into something like this. So let's see how to smash them now. Take a few and place them a little apart from each other. Use a flat heavy surface like a pestle. I'm using the back side of a pestle and I'm just going to smash one chana at a time. I'm going to take handful of smashed chana into a spiral strainer and I'm going to fry it in small batches. Once the bubbling recedes, you can take out the chana jhor. Place it on a paper towel to remove the excess oil. The chana jhor is fried and ready. If you don't want to fry it, you can also bake it in the oven at 220 degrees Celsius until they are golden and crispy. You will need to add a little bit of oil just to ensure that they turn crispy. You can also use an air fryer to make the chana jhor nice and crispy. Now, let's make a spice mix that we are going to add over our chana jhor garam. In a small bowl, I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of black salt, 1 teaspoon of chaat masala 1 tablespoon of jeera powder this is roasted cumin powder and i'm going to add half a teaspoon of amchur powder this will make it nice and tangy just mix this up and your spice mix is ready to go this spice mix is so good you can use it on any of your chaat recipes let's assemble our chana jhor now I'm going to add the fried chana jhor in a bowl. Top it off with the spice mix that we just made. I'm using one and a half teaspoon of it. Toss it around to make sure each of the chana is coated in the spice mix. Now to this, I'm going to add some finely chopped onion, some finely chopped green chili, some chopped dhania or coriander, and a squeeze of lemon. I'm going to give it a stir with my spoon once and then I'm going to toss it around just like they do at the beaches. And just before serving, you can also add in some chopped tomatoes. Mix and serve in a paper cone just the classic way with a squeeze of lemon right at the end. Our chana jhor garam is ready to serve. Try this recipe out during the monsoon time. 
but you can have this as an evening snack throughout the year. Let me know how it turns out. I'm Chef Pumika signing out from Rajshree Food.